ain't been up on the block in a minute. Uh, I've been missing out the walk with the minute. Uh, uh, I've been building up the blocks like a me. Uh, uh, Elliot got water dripping out the city. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, boy, he got his glide. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, boy, that boy on top. What up, it's John Shippo, IBS Kelso, coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, it might be just, you know, cut, you know, threading the needle right here, but as promised, I am coming out with my Kawasaki 250 setup, which I have been really progressing on, and I've been working on, and I gotta say, um, I think I just kind of made it better than what I had before. Um, I changed the drivetrain from 1350 to 1359, and I also changed from the um, a good rod length to the max rod length, so I changed... I think it was like a 135 i went all the way up to the max of the rod length and um yeah i just felt like i was lacking in power in some spots and i kept trying to change the drivetrain and it wasn't really that like i think the drivetrain was just fine but if you guys don't know it's the rod length that literally gives you that little extra like weird like torque or to the back tire at times where it's like you don't want to see max performance in different sprocket uh you know teeth but you do the rod length then it'll give you more torque to the back wheel so i think that's what i was like missing out on and i ended up going to the highest rod length again and uh, i felt like it does mess with your suspension at time but if you can really dial it in you'll be just fine um with that also being said i am running a 120 on the back tire but i feel like a 110 might work i might have to mess with that that's something i just kind of threw on and so far i'm getting a lot of grip since once again you are running a more torquey bike because of the rod length so you want to make sure that that bike doesn't i mean the wheel doesn't just spin on the back it actually gains a lot of traction so we're here at trentino of 2023 um i believe we're in hustle racing server i think they're just literally doing practice and i think that's all i need just to show off this bike just a pretty good rough mxgp track and ride through man so yeah hit that button like but like excuse me hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hopefully you guys can just put it to the test and maybe you guys can even show this bike off more than what i can um, but yeah, I know smokester has been fiending for a setup for a very long time I felt like I given him a a pretty good setup lately But now it's just like actually putting this, you know giving out the full <laughs> Kawasaki 250 setup by Kelso. So yeah, I really hope you do guys enjoy this I, I do love the suspension man. It's it's top tier I think you can probably even find different ways to perfect it But let's go through and see if we can actually run some burners guys in the 132 I don't know if that's on a 450 or not, but Oh, almost front tuck going in there. I haven't really experienced any front tuck issues, so that might be something new to the game. Probably I just turned the uh, bike over too much. But as you can see now, I feel like I have more than enough power changing that rod length. Um, you know, you may vary. You might be able to change your, your teeth and change from 13, 5th, 49 to something different. But I believe right now I have more than enough power and I feel super planted. You know, I feel super planted on this bike. I feel like the KTM, it's it's gonna be good. It, it This bike between the KTM is probably my two choices right now for MXGP and for the preseason event that's coming up uh, on Monday, I, I think I'm gonna rock with the Kawasaki first because I've been riding a lot of KTM and I've been enjoying it. So now I know where I'm at with that bike. I just don't know where I'm at really with this bike yet. And I feel like more and more that I've done these little, you know, little changes. I've more I've grown to love the bike even more like I've, I've rode this bike a very long time I've had my ups and downs through my progression of 1200 hours to say this bike was a hazard I would never ride it to now I like I love this bike for outdoors and I'm glad it got a little bit of updates and it's still still a force to be reckoned with so not so much on supercross I will say that I do not like this bike on supercross I feel like it just cannot go through the whoops to save its life but here on outside, on the outdoors, the bumps are just where it's at for this bike. So, yeah, I think the rod length is really a, plays a huge part in this in this bike's uh, you know mission, I should say, to getting the power to the back wheel. I felt like I was actually not understanding where I was losing a lot of power until I changed back into a top rod length, which I've always known that the rod length would work and you know do drastic measures to the power band. It's just, I don't know why I just didn't think of it earlier. So now we're kind of cruising for a bruising. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the setup. Definitely give it a go. This is what I'll be trying to rock on preseason. Hopefully I'll see a lot of green out there. Probably shy away from the KTMs. I'm hoping to see a lot of Honda. I am hoping to see a lot of Honda. Now I did say that was in my top three for the most part. The Honda was the top three, but I'm, I'm just skeptical, man. I'm skeptical because I haven't seen an update for what the bike is. Um, it has that little weird glitch when you get into E-Road. It could potentially go high in the air for you. 
and I'm just not feeling that. I'm not. I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm not feeling it. I'm not vibing with, like, knowing that I could be riding 30 minutes moto, and then all of a sudden the E-Road kicks in, and kapow, my bike's flying in the air. I'm super excited. I'm not trying to prey on anybody's downfall here, but I feel like we're going to have it on, on pre-season. Somebody's going to go Somebody's gonna go through some E-Road, and they're going to get literally jabanged, you know, right into the air. And I'm going to be like, oh, my God, is that Superman? Is that a bird, a plane? No, it's a Honda. <laughs> you know, so, you know, be, riders beware. And I don't know if this is for the 450, but I do know it's for the 250. You know, I do know that glitch does happen for the 250. So I just felt like I'm not even going to take the chance I would I would love for. I think content-wise it would be amazing, but... You know, for actual riding purposes, I just don't think that's going to be where it's at for me, so. But as we try to tighten up, I feel like I'm riding pretty okay. I'm nine seconds off the pace. I felt like i just kind of been talking and chilling at the moment as I go down. But I feel like I definitely want to try to run a burner for you guys. But then again, when the camera's on, I'm a little shy. Hee hee hee. <laughs> oh man, but I do like Kawasaki Green. I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and D1 bound myself and sign the papers to ride in Kawasaki uh, on Monday, so. Oh! Yeah, let me know down in the comment section if you guys made it this far, if you guys, you know, are excited and praise that, like, I gave you a setup. I don't know if you guys have been fiending for one. I know there's been a lot of talk on other bikes being viable, which I'm happy with, actually, to be honest with you. I'm so happy that the field's not just Honda, the field's not just Yamaha, or, you know, maybe just straight gas, gas. Like, I'm glad there's so many different bikes to choose from. I actually want to take this inside. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why I kept going to the outside. I kept making, like, life hard on me, but let's try to run a burner. Slow down. Engine braking. Take this inside. To this inside. I really do enjoy this track, honestly. Like, this is a straight dub rail all this outside try to stay off all that break probably had a good scrub here uh, i probably could hit the triple i don't even know why i did that but oh well nice little scrub here scrub here rail this outside and then slow up about right here so we can make it up here get into this first rut and we'll rail all this as well Third gear, a nice scrub again. We're going to take the outside. I believe it's like outside to like right here. That way you got a good apex. And then you want to take this outside as well. Just kind of keeping up all that momentum as hopefully this right here doesn't hinder me. But I am going to take it. Ah, uh, thank you, Canvas. So, so far we're riding pretty okay. Can we, can we salvage the rest of the, rest of the lap? I'm hoping that I can qualify because I've been telling a lot of people, man, trying to qualify for for Supercross is completely different from Motocross. There's so many people out there that's literally better at Motocross than they are at Supercross, especially the vast majority of riders. You know, I think the, the, the field is going to be packed. Amateur, pro, no matter what. I feel like the field is going to be packed. There's a lot more faster riders on outdoors than there is for amateurs on. Oh, no way. I sold it last lap. Get up oh my gosh come on man dude you gotta be kidding me bro you gotta be kidding me <sighs> i felt like that would have been a good lap man i felt like that would have been a good lap now i gotta restart it all over bro man dude oh i'm flustered now right dang dude that's just the talk of the town right there but oh well yeah there's a lot of kids out there man there's a lot of people that are better in motocross so I'm super excited to see what people have been training on. If there's going to be a lot of lot of it, man, you know. And I feel like I've been I've been working on the craft, you know, taking a break from Supercross since I've been grinding out so much Supercross. Is this inside viable? Go for it, F it. Here, second gear. Ah oh, man, ah, tsh, that first lap, dude. If I would have ended that, that'd probably been a really good lap. But, eh. Oh well. Oh well. This ain't bad this ain't bad yeah now we're just messing up i feel like we had the complete burner and for me to slide out or whatever happened <laughs> that was bad bro uh that's the typical mx bikes life i gotta say kawasaki feels planted feels powerful i feel like switching that rod link definitely helped me out tremendously so hopefully you guys have been will be giving this bike a go there we go Boom. Boom. I 
feel like we go for one more burner. I feel like, you know, this is our sight lap. We focus up for one more burner. I think we can possibly do it, right? I feel like we can. Like, I feel like I had that one in the books. I don't know what. I think it was that bump right there. That bump literally killed us. Let's go ahead and scrub, or let's go high flying in the air. <laughs> and not even hit the, oh my gosh. Starting off pretty bad, dude. Gosh dang it. Oh yeah, GG. <laughs> Never mind, that's the end of the video, boys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And um, yeah, it's your boy IBS Kelso. Hope you guys enjoy this. See you guys in the next one. Pa 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 pee.